did you did you see a pretty resilient team out there today? I thought we were resilient the second half. I thought, uh, you know, I did wasn't for lack of trying, but I thought the first half we were tried to do too much, focus on you know trying to be perfect, uh, tentative, everything a perfect play. Is this perfect? You know, uh, but uh, we did a good job not hesitating the uh, the second half, and I think uh, that was a big step for us, especially for this season. How do you evaluate Minshew's performance today? Uh, second half, I thought he was really good. Uh, first half, some of it, you just got to pitch your way through it. I thought he was really good the second half. I thought the first half, uh, we were slow at delivering the ball. Was tempo a particularly important point in, in dealing with their defense? It seemed like you really wanted to push things. Uh, it's important to them and us. It's important, I guess, I, I, I guess I think it affects the defense. Um, <clears throat> but then the other, uh, I think it affects the defense. Uh, but then the other thing is, is I think it helps keep us uh, in a rhythm. So, more even more so than keeping them off balance. I don't know. Hard to gauge it. I yeah. mean, that's like, <clears throat> it's hard to figure out where one starts and the other does. How do you evaluate? More impressive, more impressive true freshman than, than Max Borgie, the way he played today and the way he's he, he, he played well. Well, and he started out, you know, a little rough early and then uh, settled in there and you know runs really tough, runs hard, and he's hard to tackle. Because generally speaking, what do you think of the defense? I, I think that they scored twice off of turnovers, but besides that, they, they, they didn't score. The biggest time. thing was letting them off the hook. You know, but I mean, uh, I, I, and I'm sure that our defense agrees. That just because you you turn the ball over doesn't mean you get a uh, score from the 30. I mean, um, but uh, uh, the biggest, uh, we I thought we did some good things uh, down to down, but I thought that um, letting them off the hook on some big uh, when we had them backed up, big. Uh, third downs and things and so they'll look at that but I thought we um, did some good things on defense for sure and I thought the defense uh, probably did the best job of punching away uh, you know until offense and special teams got in a rhythm. How about your offensive line play? <clears throat> I thought they did pretty good yeah. I thought there, we had some communication issues at times uh, but generally for a first game and some new faces I thought they did a good job. Did you sense any nerves from him before he went out there, knowing this was going to be his first start? Uh, you know how this works. All right, next question. How much credit do you give the strength and conditioning staff for this game, considering a lot of people coming in this game talked about the altitude, and you guys were playing at 7,000 plus feet and thought you might struggle, but the way you guys played in the second half, it looks like uh, there was no problems with that. Well, we strategically have um, seasonal forest fires as we prepare um, for uh, the season in the event that we do find ourselves in altitude. And, uh, and I really believe that our oxygen was more diminished by the smoke in the air uh, with those forest fires. And so I think I thought it was great training uh, for us to come up here. And, uh, and so I think God smiled on us with the forest fires and uh, it worked out uh, uh, very much according to plan today. And um, uh, the other thing is, is, and I'm, you know, I'm from the state. And we used to talk about elevation all the time, and I love talking about it myself, just like I like talking about jackalopes. And I sold a bunch of jackalopes to people to this day from back east to think that uh, that there are spots out west where jackrabbits actually have horns. And uh, and I actually have one at my house. And if someone ever asks, is that real? I say, you damn right, it's real. And so we used to talk about elevation the same way. But I think there's a uh, being in shape, not being in shape. What did Gardner do better in the second half? What did, where did you see gains made? Uh, just uh, more decisive, you know, did the stuff he does in practice. The 2017 when the punting game was sometimes an issue. Uh, how impressed were you with Dragon's Fish in today? I thought he could, uh, he could boy, he, can, he boomed it uh, quite a long ways. And even that, uh, that safety was a heck of a punt. It's just too bad it was off of after a safety, so. What did, what did Josh Watson do to, to kind of get the, the nod at, at right guard? It, it had been mostly kind of robbed throughout camp. And um, what would you like about Josh? Yeah, they both do a good job, and we kind of competed every week. And and they're both uh, very important parts of the rotation, and both have some versatility as far as playing other positions. I thought two receivers that stood out today were Calvin and Desmond Patton came up with a couple of big routes there in the fourth quarter. Uh, Cal the Calvin Calvin was really hot the second half, not so much the first half. And then uh, Patman had that big post route. And, and well, even that um, the hit, he was really physical and ran through some people. Do you think this game kind of firmed up any positions where you had ors on the depth chart or from a uh, strategic matter you could <coughs> keep it that way? Yeah, we took a step, but I, you know, ors, no, there will, we'll still have a bunch of ors. We'll have as many ors as I think I can get away with. What did you think of James today? Uh, consistent. 
<coughs> one of our consistent guys that did some consistent things and we were pleased with that and um you know i thought he was <coughs> he was more consistent than some of our other guys on offense early was the shift in having uh, Kyle snap it? Was that an old Cody Sandlot play, or uh, it's a, there's a, I don't know. I I don't know where it comes from, but um, <clears throat> a lot of times folks will do it on the goal line. So we just figured we'd check it out. Have you guys done that before? Uh, it's been here. I haven't done it here. I haven't done it here um, until today. Um, the other play used to be more prevalent on. Uh, you know, kind of field goals and PATs and stuff. Or uh, Oregon did it some years ago, but anyway.